Okay, folks. Here we are, another playthrough of uh, Gates of Hell Ostfront. Hardest name game to remember. I have such a hard time remembering this game. The name of it. <clears throat> gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna play from the Soviet side. We're gonna do one of those pickup battles. And we're gonna play from the Soviets. So let's just get to it. Multiplayer skirmish, local skirmish. I'm gonna try a different map. We did monastery yesterday. Kalinin. Start from the beginning. Farmland. I believe farmland's the first one I ever played. I played it once. Uh, the thing is, is I think if it's anything like the campaign maps, they do vary because, um, you know, they may be laid out a certain way, but you don't necessarily start from the same way. So potentially every map could be played four different ways depending on where you come in from. So there's um, a little bit of everything. Valley, workshop, Bowservec Swamp, Blizzard, Countryside, Courtyard, Fall. Let's just go from the beginning. We've done... Let's just do Farmland. Let's just do Farmland with the Soviets. Okay, Players 2, User Performance. Um... Good experience. We're going to do veterans. And we're going to be fighting the Germans, so let's just assume they have a little bit better experience. Okay, it put me down as the Allies. It put the. there, early war, yep. player army, USSR, team A allies, team B, Axis, See, everything else is good there. Protect your headquarters at all costs. And um, let's see what's under advanced. Nah, let's not tinker with that. Let's go ahead and get started. Did not change the volume levels from last night, so we should still be good. takes a little longer to start. Than the standard game.
let's twist this board a little bit. Well, here's my headquarters down here. I have to protect that at all costs. Take a partial rifle squad. Let's have them hustle over here. Hustle, comrade. And we're going to go ahead and have him dig some emplacements. That's kind of in the opening. Waiting for a 45 millimeter gun. Come available. Party's already started. They dug in just in time. How much longer for a BT-7? I better get something with a machine gun out here pretty quick. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of guys coming in. Come on, BT. I really want to get a 45 millimeter anti tank gun, but. There you go. Let's rotate this way. Now, how did the squad hold out? Let's go ahead and health them up. I wish they would health up on their own. Put another machine gunner down there. Let's hustle him over. It's like there's a foxhole they can just lay in here. High command request to secure a strategic standpoint, a strategic position. All right, well, let's see if we can do something about that now that we got a foothold. Put the machine gunners here and have them rotate this way. All right, so now we've got one big happy family here. Nice big unit. In the river? Yeah. yeah they're just going to keep crossing that water. Riflemen swimming. Oh, the Germans can swim. It's that time of the month for them to take a shower. <laughs> the hell with.
was that sound? A commissar. I can only imagine what that's good for. Rifle Scott has one, two, three, has four guys. Let's go ahead and drop a rifle squad here and start working ourselves a foothold. Let's go to here. That's more than the five guys I was talking about. That's that's a good sized unit right there. Yeah, they're already trying to capture that zone. I'm not throwing somebody out there just to get killed. We're gonna we're going to move up intelligently. A flamethrower guy. I'll buy his lonesome. Did they drop him? Yeah. Now, this game's pretty cool. I could actually send somebody over there and grab his flamethrower. Help these guys up. They're going to be getting in a crossfire. In, but oh, we got swimmers here. I don't mind keeping the tank way back here. We need to make sure it's... It's just basically a, a machine gun back here that can be... Uh, hard to deal with. Wait for those points to build up here. See, I can get a T26. Let's get a T26. And get another one in about two minutes. Okay. All right, T26. Which kind is it? Oh, it's the later kind with a round turret. Oh, it's got a radio antenna on it, too. Nice. Cute little thing. Uh-oh. What vehicle's back there? I checked 35. Nice. Now I'm getting hosed. Mexican standoff here. All right. Drop to the ground. We can come back and fix that later. <coughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and drop prone because I don't really want these guys to sit there and get shelled at long range by a Chuck tank. bring the 45 mil up. Now, let me get in this position where... I love this. I love this view here that you can... Go ahead and um, that tank still all the way up there? Might not be. There you go, and place it. Oh, that's a Panzer two C.
Better take him out or he's going to take us out too. Tell you one thing, I have a hell of a trouble with any tank guns. It's got a tire damage, but it should still be able to fire. Well. Just like last night, it's hard getting that foothold in. Not getting a 37. Oh, they bailed out? What's the guy bailed out of the tank for? Oh, let's take him out with our crew. Oh, no, no. I got these guys hiding. Holy smokes! They saw the crew hanging out over here. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's even funny when bad things happen to you. Well, that's what I get for being a little communist. <laughs> what the? That was like a 37 millimeter gun or something back here. Well, I got another 45 millimeter I can drop. That's 200 MPs, which I have 237. What the heck is this rifle squad? It's not even defending their own position. They got the they got their own guy sitting here. Attacking him. Yeah, throw a grenade over there. A bit late. I really don't want to bring this. This tank's doing just fine over here. At this. If you lose this base, it's over. We need another rifle squad to bring up here. Recon squad, what do they got? Border guards. Yeah, that's why I don't want to move the tank from there. These, these guys are obsessed with crossing this body of water. Take a couple of riflemen and put them here. Once I can bolster this area enough, 
I can bring this crewman back and see if he can't repair this tank. Check 35, this nail on a long range. Well, he's busy fighting these guys. Come on, hit him. Oh, great, he's got a buddy. Oh, shit. I can get a T-34? Oh, they're in trouble now. Why do you have like a free crew member on here? No, don't turn your side, you moron. I don't know why it had these tank riders that came with it. I should have just had them go into combat and get their ass beat. Just sit there and do your thing. Go prone. It gave me these tank riders. This is a bad place for infantry to be. Right, I'm going to have these guys go inside this building for now. <laughs> this guy's out here working on his... Working on the tank like there's nobody's... No problem. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Great, now I can't turn. Take him out, take him out. I'm, I'm sitting here in a duel. I've, yeah, track broken, that's fine. I, I just wanted to advance straight forward. These guys have to... I'm, I'm tired of having these guys hosed down here. sound like it did something. Okay, this guy can get inside. Is the gun good on it? Well, at least we got another 45 millimeter gun firing at him. Looks like it. Now they got two things to think about. Pop that. There we go. Nice. Let's get a good view of this. Krauts on the Barbie. All right. Now I'm going to take these guys. Go ahead and repair your vehicle. Oh, we're missing a crew member. Let's take one of these guys and have him crawl inside.
Yeah, we'll be able to go on the offense. The tank is an important step forward to doing that. Why didn't this guy come out? God, these guys don't listen. High on vodka. What kind of shape was this thing in? It's got both tracks damaged. He's got one guy in this T26, and he's he's firing, loading, doing all himself. Oh, he took out a side. Uh, looks like he took out a uh, motorcycle with a sidecar. Got the tank fixed yet? No, and he can't move. Got one side fixed. It's not red anymore. How much does the tank crew cost? Let's bring him in. have them fill out the rest at T26. A little six number is kind of a, a factor of his experience and because I guess because it's a single guy that did everything. He got a lot of experience. Now I'm going to take this guy over here. Guys are just sitting on the side. The there's some tanks coming up that way. <coughs> track broken. Hey, he's fixing a track. We operational? We are. Holy smokes! Well... Alright, he's gonna sit there and do his thing. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a rotate. Not that much? Why are you rotating that much? Oh, you idiot! These guys are stupid. That would not have... Now we're broke down again. <laughs> well... You know what? I'm going to wait a minute and bring a KV-1 in instead of a T-34. These T-34s... This two-man turret isn't working out real well. What's firing on us? A Panzer III with a 50mm gun. All right. Well, in about 41 seconds, you're going to wish you weren't born.
I'm not getting out and repairing anything right now. Two. One. That's a nasty gun. 107? Oh, what's this? Oh, party favor. See if this guy listens a little better and doesn't rotate when he's not supposed to. Okay. Jeez, a hundred and twenty two millimeter gun. I'll be honest with you, I don't know how to use I don't know how to use that big artillery. But we're gonna call in another well we have a rifle squad here. can we call in from this area and carry in, call in a T-35 look those are kind of thinly armored though ah let's see what it looks like I've seen one but you guys haven't look at this monster even has a red star on the roof and everything Okay, well, we want to keep it not on the front lines because it is kind of thinly armored. So I'm actually going to bring him over here and see if he can't hit it from afar. Meanwhile, we're going to move the KV-1 somewhere. It's going to attract more attention. what kind of the field of view from the T-35 is. It's not bad there. Okay. <coughs> this guy. I only have three-man crew. Let's go ahead and call in a tank crew. And we will set this tank crew to repair that T-34. Okay, this is holding pretty strong here. What showed up here? Panzer 3E. KV-1's got a track broken. Well, I'm going to take this rifle squad, get them go prone.
Hustle, 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 hustle. Okay, he's damaged, but what can he... Oh, both of his tracks are damaged, so he's basically a pillbox there. And it looks like I'm missing him. Hold on a second. Give me that guy, climb him inside. Kind of a pain to do this in the middle of a war zone. Definitely worse discipline than my Germans, for sure. Stay down, folks. Stay down. We get this thing repaired? Looks like we did. There's a vehicle out here. That's an armored car. Some check 38 with a... Oh, he's already engaging them. Okay, that'll work. Can't get across here with uh, Panzer 2F. Yeah, pretty much don't stand a chance. Why? Why can't they repair this thing? There's a guy there. These guys aren't following orders. Engage that guy right there. I 
I don't dare bring this T-35 up because it is just asking for him to get hosed. Did we finally get this thing repaired? can join the fray. This guy can... Let's move the T-34 up a little bit. No, 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 move forward. God bless it. Go through the tree. That's what you're a tank. Communists don't care about the earth. Chop all the trees down. That's where we want them. tank gun over here. <coughs> I'm, gonna, I'm bleeding him to death, though. I haven't even captured any zones. And I've got 457 of the 600 points. I'm all for capturing the zones. I just can't get across here. It took too long to... Last game I played on this map, I was over here in these these two buildings pretty entrenched, but I can't seem to get across this causeway. How the hell did they get a 50 millimeter gun? I couldn't get one yesterday. Let's get a 122 millimeter gun out here. Let's see what it does. Now I wonder if I can fire in direct with it. It's back here. Come on, let's drop some 122 there. the 45 hit, hit him oh I see that there was that I saw that lob and shell oh looks like the T T35 got cooked over here yeah, they don't have very good armor. Let's see if we can. And you will kill your own guys.
Had him drop some smoke on purpose. Whoops. See if I can capture the zone. I don't know what that was, but that was big. Prone, guys. Prone, prone. Rotate that way. Oh, there you go. They killed three of my vehicles, and I ain't killed 18 of theirs. <laughs> wow. Okay. Excellent. All right, well, we're going to call this one a night. We're going to turn right back around, and uh, we're going to start a painting session here in a few minutes. So stay tuned. It'll be a different video, and we will roll into that. Unless I can somehow do it all in one, I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot and see if I can get away with that. Doing stuff like this actually is helpful. It's the only way I'm going to learn. Now, in order to do that, uh, let's see if I can get away with this. We're going to have to switch this to that. Bluetooth doesn't need to be on. I'd be really proud of myself if I can pull this off. And let's put the droid cam up. And... Uh, we need to go here, we need to go to the Droid Cam app, we need to go ahead and start, excellent, that part is okay, turn this light on, switch over here, uh, we're going to Yeah, we did that successfully. Excellent. Um, and let's switch the microphone. Okay, we should be good as new. And we just got to make sure the desktop audio is off. And we should be back to how the normal painting session is. Excellent. Welcome back. All happens on the same desk. You play computer games and we build armored cars. Now, one thing I do need to do is I need to take my contacts out or I will be extremely inefficient. So I will be right back in a moment and we will continue building this uh, 263 armored car, which is what we were doing. We finished the Panzer IIs the other day and I was really happy with how they turned out. So um, we're gonna roll into this. Be right back, folks.
All right. Just gotta remember where the hell we left off on this thing. Yeah, I was really happy with how the Panzer IIs turned out. Which, you know, when I when I switched to doing vehicles, back to doing these 20 millimeter vehicles I haven't touched in like 20 years, over 20 years. One of my concerns was that I wasn't going to be happy with how the style was that I was doing them in. And apparently that is not the case anymore. I've, I've kind of been really happy with how that turned out. So that is not an issue for me. Okay, we still have this and top antenna to do. And we have little headlights and things like that to do. These are completely done. All right, we have these headlights and such. Got it. All right. Um, that is close-up glasses. So that's not that's not any good. All right. We have some items that are here. I don't think there's anything left on this sprue. These things are sprue or for this is the same sprue that comes with the 230, the 232. So. Um, and that's really common to have multiple things show up in the same thing. So we have, this is going to be some parts there. And this is more of the black parts, which also are common to the 232. <clears throat> and around here somewhere, just before we stopped, we had switched and put the, um, the drill bit on... The pin vise because we some of these things were unmarked and we we're going to need to drill them out so that we wouldn't have an issue. So we just have to find Mr. Pin vise wherever it is. It's right here. Okay, man, everybody's silent tonight. Huh? I fought a whole battle, battle and nobody said anything. <laughs> uh, okay, so. We have some pieces that go in here that are unmarked. And that is all four of these headlights. There's two headlights that go here and two back here because actually... The interesting thing about these German armored cars that were actually really complicated, they actually had two driving positions. Um, one in the front and the back, and they actually had the same amount of forward and reverse gears. Um, so they could drive in both directions. <clears throat> so they have to have headlamps in both directions. So kind of advanced. I would imagine that these things probably cost quite a bit to put one of them in production, which, you know, is the last thing they need when they're trying to fight the whole world at once. But, you know, that's what you, you brought it upon yourselves. So here's the headlights here. All four of them. And, oh, there are some other pieces that are on here. Because these little ones that go on there as well. 18A. This is the A piece. 18 Oh, those are freaking tiny. Eighteen A. Here it says it has multiple of them. This is one of these things that you almost have you have to consult. Other stuff going on. We've got these four. One, two, three, four. They're gonna go in. One, two, wow, well, all right, let's go from, we need to find a drawing of this thing, we need to find a picture of this. And that's the problem with the other 
Ukrainian and Russian kits that I had that they don't their instructions aren't the best. So let's go here and we're gonna do a search for Safe on that, and we're going to pick SD KFZ 263. Okay. This machine gun. Fits almost in the bottom of that spot. Panzerfunkwagen. Yeah. The Funkmeister. Yeah, let's look at the bottom there. So let's go ahead and put, that's the machine gun that's, that's here. Whew, that's delicate. That is super delicate. gets drilled down here at the bottom. That's about the same size. If it's a little bit bigger, that's okay. Don't need to drill it very deep, just enough to get some kind of a purchase. so we get a good hold on it. Should be good enough. We'll just have that facing down. It's a little bit less noticeable. And that machine gun goes like that. That's all it's armed with. Just a machine gun. Just a single MG34. You know, if you're firing that thing in this vehicle, you're doing something wrong, because shouldn't have got that close. Now, the lights that fit in here, look 
look like they actually attach. On this section in here, down here somewhere. So let's do the front ones, which is 17F and 7F. Okay, 17 and 7, these two here. They're the same as the back side. I don't know why it would even matter, but let's put the ones they tell us to put in. I don't have a problem sanding things, but sometimes these things are so small, you can't get enough of a purchase on the other piece to hold it down, to sand it. That looks pretty good, actually. Okay, this little guy, I hate grabbing things that are round with the, with tweezers. This little guy is going to fit something like this. So let's make sure that fits these drawings that I see. Because honestly, it looks like it's not very flush mount. Now here's one from the front. Okay, yeah, they sit like they're leaning on that little box. They sit like... Man, if this little piece breaks, you're screwed. Yeah, it's like they're leaning on this thing. All right, well, that's how we're going to do them. So... don't really care if there's a little bit of an, an angle. We're going to put the hole right there. There's literally no markings that says, hey, there's not even a little divot in the plastic or anything like that where you could kind of use it to guide where it's supposed to be. So something like this many years ago would have been a pain in the ass because we didn't have the internet where you could just find just about any picture you want of anything. And that's a big help. So now that we have a little divot there, now you can take this little piece like this and should be able to fit like so and lean backwards on that yep okay now we'll do the same thing on the other one other side so we're in this area here and we're up a little bit let's say something like this Go ahead and put a little divot in there first. And then we can turn this around like 
that and go in at that angle. This would have been a lot easier to do without these little pieces bolted in. Which honestly, it's, it's a section that comes in before you actually put these fenders. But if I wouldn't have done the fenders first, it would have been a disaster. There's just way too many of these little boxes that would have gotten in the way. Okay, and then this one fits. Right there, leaning like so. Okay, so I think we can glue those two on. Although, I should probably do the ones on the back as well. <coughs> Before I go and commit to doing that. Do you have a picture of this thing on the back? I don't see one. But based on where this is pointing to them, are they a different shape? They may be. Yeah, they just go straight in as opposed to have a little curve. Okay. And those are shown where? Oh geez, I may not put them on. There's no, there's no way I could have built them in this order. There's no way I could have built them in this order. All right, we're gonna put that one there. We're gonna put that one there. Let that soften up a little bit, and then we're gonna take this side. These are not for inexperienced modelers. Tipped tweezers. It always happens with these round feet pieces. All right. We already soften that up, so we should be able to. And it's going to sit like that. And we're going to go ahead and drop some glue there and glue there. So it attaches nicely there from the front. Okay. Let's drop another one here. That one sits like that. Okay, there's the front of the little guy. Well, I'm guessing you guys could hear me okay. Silent but deadly. All right, the other ones. Oh, 
Oh, you know, if they fit in that little angle part towards the bottom, they don't. They fit. And the side. Let's just pop them off and see if I can get them in there. Comrade Popov. Now, let's take a look at this. I just don't know where the hell I'd be able to put that light on there. Unless you put it back here, but that's not where it's shown <coughs> on the instructions. No, on any of these drawings. As a matter of fact, all these drawings show You can't even tell where they're at. Let's see, here's one from the rear. Yeah, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have it there. I'm going to omit them. I'm going to omit them. I'm going to omit these two things. Now we got 16F and 15F. So working from the front, let's grab 16F. And this is what looks to be a very delicate piece. So if there's any trimming you gotta do, you better do it on the sprue. same thing back over here and the same thing here this is 16 yeah so this one fits on this side all right let's turn this thing up you gotta make sure you put pressure something is supporting it when you're cutting this or you're going to end up breaking it I'll be honest with you this blade looks like it's pretty dull or feels like it's pretty dull so is this one so without throwing this blade away not this one is it no it don't look pretty dull as well without throwing this one away Let's get another one. Because we need it for, we need it pretty sharp for what we're doing.
I don't know how the hell these things are going to fare on the war game table because these are pretty um, finely detailed. Plastic crickets. I'd sand this down, but there's nothing you can hold on to it for long enough to sand it. Let's check for fit before we start committing to all this. Okay, so it's going to supposedly going to grab there, there. Yeah, I figured this wouldn't this wouldn't go where how it was supposed to. really fits along with nothing all right how about if I switch it like this does that help no that made it worse okay this is definitely the size for that one the side for that one yep 16 <coughs> <coughs> yeah there's some holes here but none of them match up with anything I'm doing okay. I even uh, got to play some Russians, some Soviets this morning, uh, just a little while ago. Man, it's almost like it's vertical. It does bubble out. It's almost vertical. It just doesn't fit. Okay, it's better this way. So maybe this is the way to do it. Although the long thing seems to go towards the back. Yeah, it's not that way. Okay, one leg is longer than the other. It needs to go towards the front. Okay? So this needs to go like this. They're just... Man, they don't line up here at all. They don't line up at all. Yeah. 
It just doesn't even feel like, it. I just don't feel like it even fits. The third one in, which is that one, is 9A, which is another little like stub. So the second one in, it's where it's showing to put that, but. I'm starting to think that that's how it goes together. But that means it should be kind of facing down. Wow. Definitely not a beginner's, a beginner's model. I mean, there's not much left. That's pretty much it. Yeah, the instruction guide is just useless. So, by judging from this one, one of the legs is longer than the other. And it must go towards the front. So, if this one's like this, the mirror image should be the other way, which means... The leg on the front is this one. So it's got to it's got to go like this. And there's no way to get it to fit on there unless I was to do something like like that. But that's not what the pictures look like. The pictures look like it's almost vertical. Holy smoke. Yeah, it's almost vertical, so I don't see how I'd be able to put this. It would have to be, you, you can't. You can't get it where it's supposed to be. I'm just going to punt on that. What a pain in the ass. Oh, I know. So I'm looking at this a real image. It's not helpful. It's like that piece is molded incorrect. Yep. Yeah. 
Looks like the piece is molded incorrect. Because that little bend is towards the front. So it's got to go like that, but then it's not up, it's down. Maybe that's how it fits on there. See, normally, almost all the pictures show it like this. This one, to get anything to even fit to the contours, it's going to have to be like so. So instead of being like this, it's almost out like at 90 degrees. And that may be what I have to do. <clears throat> Try this one. I don't see anything that came through. Ooh. Where's the other one of these aerials? The other side? cut it out as well. That one goes over here. Oh, this has got some flash on it. Flash! Ah! Looked up a Tamaya kit of the 232, you can see that piece clear on it. Okay. It's like almost vertical. <clears throat> Two were like below this angle. They don't fit. They don't have the right shape for that. Unless... They might attach past that line. All right, so let's try this. No. Let's try I this is like the wrong shape. It's like the wrong shape. It's like the wrong shape. 
Well, we might have to sleep on it. Yeah, it looks like the kit's designed wrong. I agree. I agree. But I think what I could probably make it work is... Have it like this. Because these two pieces that they go underneath, there's nothing for them to attach to. And if they go like this and go underneath... I don't know. It's just wrong. I'm up late for a Monday night. Yeah, it's 9.30. 9.30. No gaming. I had to take my wife to the airport, so couldn't go to Mitch's. No big deal. And I got the daughter with me all week, so I'm not going to leave in the middle of the night. Leave her here. That's stupid. I could still get my gaming done. It'd just be different kind of gaming. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with that. Because that's kind of a... Not take the winds out of my sail. Because I just need to think about it. I'm going to go ahead and chop this other one off. Out. Not off. Out. Okay, and this one right here, real gentle. There we go. Lots of pre-Christmas garden cleanup. You got you have uh, Christmas in July down there though, because it's a different uh, season and everything for you. always laugh at people that say, you know, Christmas is the start of the summer holiday season. <laughs> oh man, you're making my head spin. I always want, I always like how people say, oh, I don't have time to spend that much time building models or, but they have time for gardening. Hey, my models don't get destroyed in a week, you know? Now, on the off chance that they got their numbers wrong, 180 degrees. Yes. Well, that one's actually better. Because it does kind of attach underneath. I could make that work. The question is, can I make this one work over here? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think we found it. Eighty two degrees, Florida weather.
What gets me is the people who say they don't have time, period, to do anything. No one's that busy, and if you are, you're in need to reevaluate what's going on. I think too many people are involved in too many different things. People just look at that. I think that that's that's where how it needs to be. People just get involved with too much shit. At least I figured out a solution. Yeah. Well, thank goodness to the internet. You know, when I was building these 35th scale, I built a 232 and 35th scale. Probably didn't look worth a damn compared to the stuff now, but. I didn't have pictures and reference books to go by. I mean, I did for some things, but look at that. That looks pretty good. Figured out a solution. That's what I do all day long, seems like. Now, there's these 17 A pieces that go here. I don't know where the hell they are. I don't see them. I don't see them. Hold on one second.
right back to the damn garden. <laughs> you need to marry somebody. Mar marry somebody that just kills all plants. That's my wife. She just kills plants. You know, inadvertently. It's not like, you know, she goes out to, on a crusade to kill them. Just saying that tries to plant things that just don't last. And I don't have that in me. I like looking at other people's gardens. I'm not a gardener for sure. I, uh, not my thing. And any kind of bug will automatically bite my wife. So not, not really a good combination there. I think that's where it needs to be. I think that's where it needs to be. And... We got one hole left for this upper piece, this 9A, and these two for the 18As. I think we're good. I think we kicked this thing's ass. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we have these pieces down here, these... Seventeens that somehow fit somewhere down here vaguely, and it doesn't say where. So I'm going to omit them. I don't see where the hell they go. I've never seen any picture or anything where these go down here. These like almost like little like bubbles or something. I, I don't I don't know where the hell they go. We're gonna we're leaving them out. But these two little flimsy things are apparently are some form of light, and we'll need to cut them out. So, these will be the two for this side. You're a closer. I come in and help you finish it off. There you go. Well, I gamed a little bit. <clears throat> I didn't feel like doing this right off the bat. Um, so, I did a little bit of gaming to... You left yesterday before I finished that battle. Did you see the Pioneers ended up um, finishing off that KV-2? But in the process of hitting them with a flamethrower, they, like, flame one of their own guys. So it's like, you know, they're going to attack with a flamethrower, but there's a, there's, a, there's a cackle of them. They're, they're moving forward, and the flamethrower's in the middle. So as soon as he's flaming the KV, he ends up catching one of his comrades in front of him on fire. <laughs> I tell you what, I love that. I love that scene where uh, that flame throwing tank went and attacked me, and then I knocked it out, and I had to wait for things to quiet down, and then I snuck that one guy in there to make it make his escape. And as soon as he got in the tank and started moving, he ended up getting attacked by another flamethrower. So the the flame throwing tank got caught on fire by another flamethrower, but that guy lived. He crawled his ass out of there. You know? Well, you know, it sucks for that guy. Shouldn't have been a Nazi. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. <coughs> Don't be a Nazi. <laughs> All right, these guys have a tiny little tab. God, this is this is fraught with disaster right here. This is definitely not for beginners. And you got to have all these little tweezers and shit like that.
Okay. We are good there. Now we'll move on to the other side. So I had something interesting to happen to me today. I don't know how I feel about it. But basically I've been looking to order something for a long time, model related, to kind of round out what I'm working on. And um, I looked at the price of something and it's actually kind of expensive. And I found a place that actually had them, had these things for the right price. I hem and haw, hem and haw, order them. I get an email saying, thank you for your order. And then I go and decide, for whatever reason at that point, decide to search the name of this company, you know, this store, this storefront. And there's all kinds of bad shit written about them, about they don't fulfill their orders and this, that, and the other. And I'm just wondering, should I cancel my order? But then, you know, if they don't answer the emails, how am I going to cancel the order? I think I'm just going to let it ride. I'm just going to let it ride and see if I don't hear back from them in a couple days. I guess it is possible that somebody's out there to rip people off, but man, they... You know, you only get to do that a couple times, and then word gets out, and then you're out of business. So, my mind doesn't automatically go to people are out to do stuff like that. Let it ride if it doesn't come and form your bank of theft. Yeah, it's not a huge amount of money. I mean, it's not something that I can't live without. I mean, it's... And it's not something I'm in a hurry, you know. It's just something that normally goes for like $35 shipped, and these folks had it for 25 bucks. So... If it takes a month to get here, it takes a month to get here. It's not like I don't have things to work on. Um... We'll see. You know, maybe somebody put a complaint to them and the complaint was what's wrong. And it's just a family business just trying to, you know, I, hey, I, I just don't, I don't assume people are out to do, you know, bad customer service. Because you only get to do that once and, you know, you only get to screw, it's not like, you only get to screw each person one time and then they'll never come back to you. You know. Okay, this is the nine. This is these little chip, these little pieces that stand up. We need two of them, one for each side. Luckily, it's not a time frame. It takes three months. I don't care. Was it a KV2? It might have been. You want to know what it is? You want to know what my order is? I think you should know what my order is. So I've been looking for the Plastic Soldier Company. Panzer threes and the check 38. So I bought them. I got them both. Or I ordered them both because the check 38s have um, have gun crews, which I can use the gun crews for the martyrs that I have. But three check 38s, three Panzer three G's, and um, what else did I get? Those were like $25 for three of them. That's pretty freaking cheap. And um, as they normally run 35 or even more. And um, the KV, the Pegasus set of KV1 and KV2 together. 
is really hard to come by. They normally run about seventeen dollars, and these were eleven bucks. So, I picked up the. Well, I I didn't pick it up because I don't have it yet. A check thirty eight, set of three, Panzer three set of three, um, a set that has two KV ones or KV twos. Um, you can build them as either, and it has turrets for both. So I plan on building all four turrets, and you can switch out the turrets as needed. And uh, and t two T twenty sixes. The T twenty sixes are also from Pegasus. We'll see if it comes in. Um, even with shipping, it's like eighty bucks or something like that. So what's the worst thing that can happen? I'm out eighty bucks. It probably won't happen. I I don't think I've ever had an experience, a bad experience with something I've ordered, like you're just not going to get your product. I don't think things like that have ever happened to me. So I'm not going to jump to conclusions and think that that's the route that it's going to end up taking. Yeah, the KV2s are hard to come back. You, know, you can find them. I don't want to spend 25 bucks for one KV2 when I can buy, you know. Ooh, where does that fit? Well, we better look at a drawing. Um, oh, it looks like it is a support for that. Oh, that's a different vehicle. Whoop. I don't even see it in that drawing. Looks like it is some kind of a support for this thing. Like it with eBay, I I bought a lot of things with eBay, and I've only had two bad experiences. With eBay, Now the crucial shit. 
which is something I really don't want to do on camera. Because I got to figure out my own way of doing it, I think. You take a piece of tape put that together from one end and weld that. This is one of these pieces that broke in transit. Is this double-sided tape? Oh, come on. I don't need double-sided tape. I didn't know we had double-sided tape. No, I certainly don't want to go looking for more of it. So I don't need very much. Let's do this. Let's find a spot where we can glue this down. I've never done this before. I'm just trying to figure this out using logic. Actually, the fact that it's double-sided might actually be helpful. And we're going to weld that thing back together. Now, yeah, we're going to have to... That's the one that was broke the other day. Check out one thing. Mm -hmm. Diversified skills for two units from 10 mil traveling cheaper is six. Why is 10 mil cheaper than six? That makes no sense, but. I don't like six millimeter infantry of war too. They don't look right for me. Yeah. They look okay for me. Just the. Getting that goop all the way around them is just really weird. Okay, that should work. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this.
GHQ now charges 14 per pack. That's absurd. That's absurd. Used to be 495. Like we, looks like we're shy a little bit. I bet I could see if I can get away with doing this. Yeah, let's use this whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm about to do something I've never done before. doesn't quite reach there's other people that make it other than Pentrack and don't they and they got what 12 mil this is something like Victrix or something like that makes 12 millimeter World War II You know, this might actually be a job for this plastic putty. Guess I should probably read how to open this thing. I like working on this stuff where there's no time frame. When are you going to get it done? Well, when it gets done. However this turns out, it'll, it'll be good enough. And while I'm thinking about it, while this is drying, let's go ahead and trim this, these pieces off. Don't have to do that at a later date. Yeah, some people's sites sometimes run into an issue and then they don't work for a while. You can always use a Wayback Machine. Use Wayback Machine and go see what their site looks like. And Is this thing out of register? It's almost like this thing's out of register. Well, we're not going to trim it so close that... We're going to run into a problem in that respect. Yes, we'll come fix that in a second. Guess you could just get a photo etch aerial, couldn't you?
Yeah, well, that's what I tried to do, except that there's actually a little bit of a gap. The two pieces aren't touching. It was like broken like three different pieces. Before I even got it, so. You know how you solve that? You end up draping a Nazi flag over it. And that spots their problems. Okay, that spot's perfect. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's take some patience. And none of this, I gotta get this done for a game tomorrow morning. Nope, I ain't doing that shit no more. Cancel the game, which by the way, I'm pretty much done with face-to-face -face gaming for the rest of the year. I couldn't go tonight, and apparently he's not available next week. And I'm going to be out of town from the 26th on. So, no more gaming this year face to face. Let's do this one right here. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't touch. That's what the problem is. Maybe this was a mistake doing it with us like this. Let's try cutting this off right here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's see how the burrito came out of the microwave oven. just now this one does reach
Wow, this is going to be a vehicle that players aren't going to be allowed to touch. Heidi wants some camouflage branches. That's not bad. You know what? I'm gonna i I'm gonna move on. I'm sure that whatever I can do, I should be able to pull it off and it'll end up looking just fine. Okay. We have Stretch sprue, replaced entire bar piece. Oh, no. I'd rather just buy the photo etch thing. That just sounds like way too much time that I want to devote to this thing. Okay, we got sections two, which fit into these bars. Okay, cool. And then um, 1B, which doesn't say where the hell it goes. That's nice of them. Uh, of course, these fit on here nicely. But then they attach to the top here, like round piece on round piece, like that. I don't think that's going to work out. I don't think that's going to work out. Um, these Ukrainians had, uh, they was, these guys were smoking some stuff when... Um, when they were doing that. Before I go farther, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna call it a night, because I'm gonna look and see if they have a photo etch thing for this. I'd hate to attach these little supports and I ended up having to use something else instead that comes with it. I'll take a look at it and see if it's not stupid. I, I don't like the idea of these little pieces on the bottom these pieces here where these supports attach are totally like rounded and the piece that's coming up there is also totally rounded so it's going to be like a it's going to be a balancing act from hell to get all those pieces to get on the same page so um yeah anyhow well i kicked this little thing's ass on the side that actually turned out pretty well so it's a good looking little vehicle and it's basically like a target. It's a target vehicle. Today's mission, take that thing out. So they can't report where everybody's at. So. Okay, folks. Well, until next time, we should be painting probably every evening this, this week. And we'll catch you guys next.